Hey Jamin developers, this is Jamin guys. So 41 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating image click events just like this. And if we click this image, then we can navigate it to next page. So in order to create such type of project, let's go to our file new and then project. Then select cross platform. As we are writing code for both Android as well as iOS, give it a name as you like and click on OK. After that, you can select any project that is our shared as well as portable project. Here we'll be basically dealing about main project rather than project that are targeting both Android and iOS. So I'll be minimizing them. Now let us go to our app.cs. It may be your app.jaml.cs since I'm using Xamarin Forms as old version. Here main page is a placeholder which contains our page one to be loaded at first when our app gets started. Here I'm giving navigation page to my page one. That means when I click any event inside my page one, then it gets navigated towards our second page. Inside our Jaml part of page one, here we have content page. In previous session, we have already discussed about content page. Now let us add stack layout inside our content page. And let us include some image source for our both Android as well as iOS project. Our image source will be inside our drawable folder of resources. For both Android as well as iOS, we have to place it. And then I'll just simply type it. Then I have to vertically as well as horizontally place it into center. And then we have to add some gestures by placing image gesture recognizers. And then after that, we'll create a new event handler. And then we'll close it. That's all. When you create this event handler, then method will be generated inside our code behind of page1.jaml. This is my method that is generated when I tap my image. Now let us push our image page towards our second page when it gets clicked as navigation. Then when it is push a sync and then new page second. Then it is pushed towards our second page. Then I have to close it. That's all. Now let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not. Let us debug it. Okay, deploying getting started is being ready. Okay, we got our expected output. If I click it, then it gets navigated to next page. Thank you guys, thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.